Confession, mac and cheese is totally one of my favorite comfort foods. And double confession, I didn't learn how to actually make it myself like a non-box form until I was a grown up. And as decadent as it is, I also can't leave well enough alone and I like to make it just a little healthier, which is why I'm using whole wheat pasta for extra fiber and why I'm gonna add white beans to my sauce as well. Every good white sauce starts with a little pat of butter. But I love garlic in my cream sauce. Now for some Eye of Newt. No, seriously, so this is mustard seed? And they used to call it Eye of Newt. I have no idea why. Are Newt's eyes yellow? Maybe, who knows? And to make my roux, flour, of course. And then I'm ready for some milk. So let's talk white beans. Why would I bother putting them in my mac and cheese? First of all, because they're delicious. They're creamy, buttery flavor, but also when you mash them in, they have lots of protein and lots of fiber, and so it gives you that mouthfeel that even enhances the creamy texture without a whole bunch of extra cream. Well, hello, white sauce. Almost thickened up. It's bean time. Oh, and now for the cheese. I'm gonna use three kinds of cheese. The first is Munster cheese, which is really soft and creamy and melts like a dream. So well, in fact, I don't even need to bother shredding it. Oh, delicious. Gruyere, nutty, kind of like the Munster, and super ooey gooey melty. Good for fondue, and even better for mac and cheese. And what would a mac and cheese be? without cheddar. Melty, melty. All you need is the heat from the white sauce. You don't need to cook this. I think we are ready for some cheesy action. I really like watching the cheese melt over the pasta. <laughs> it looks so good. Now, mac and cheese is great on the stovetop, but it's even better when you bake it. So I'm gonna go right on ahead and do that. Oh, it's so heavy with cheesy goodness, I can barely lift it. Oh, yes. Thank you. A little more Gruyere, you say? Why, yes. I think that's a wonderful idea. All of the cheese. No one bite left behind. Well, gorgeous. 
and it smells so cheesy. And I actually get to eat this now. Sometimes trying new things can feel a little bit uncomfortable, but that's only while they're still new. Once you've done it, it's familiar. And that's the fun. One of the easiest ways of trying something new is in the kitchen because it's pretty much harmless if you make a little mistake. If something wasn't your favorite, then you know, but it's always an awesome experiment. Mm. That being said, there's nothing like a classic mac and cheese, although with a few new additions.